Well, joining me now to get more on this is Marco Longhi, uh, another Conservative MP for Dudley North. You heard your uh, fellow MP there from Berry North, all the Norths here. I'm also from the North, so good Northern representation in a way. What do you make of this? Because to me, it seemed like they were trying to slip this under the radar a bit. The idea now that wanting to reduce net migration to the tens of thousands, that's just been biffed, hasn't it? Well, that's what it sounds like, Patrick. And the government, I would have to, I, I must tell you, will have an enormous problem on its hands persuading people like me and James and many, many other MPs to try and get this slipped underneath the radar, if that is in fact what they're trying to do. Look, if we want to increase productivity and grow our economy, we need to invest in ourselves. We need to stop importing endlessly cheap labour and, and, and take the easy route out. We've always said we've got low productivity in this country. Well, that's because we haven't invested in skills. We haven't invested in technology. We haven't invested in training. And the, the cheap alternative has always been, especially being part of the EU, mm. just keep on bringing in cheap labour. So the whole point of having a points-based immigration system was to stop that and, yeah. and, and train and invest in ourselves. Well, a lot of people are up in arms about this and about what's going on in the channel because they are concerned about the potential loss of British culture and the potential changing irreversibly of demographics and everything that goes with that. Especially now, though, arguably for the first time, those in rural constituencies, possibly thousands of asylum seekers are going to be sent to rural areas to, quote, level up the demand when it comes to housing them. And I'm keen to get your views. What do you think British culture is? And um, what are your concerns when it comes to what we might lose? So, look, uh, there is a lot at stake here. And uh, there's a whole debate around British values and culture. And, uh, you know, if you, if, if you go to London, it feels like you're almost in a different country in and of itself now. I don't recognise a lot of what British, Britishness looks like quite often just walking around London. But for me, let's even just focus on the practical side of this, Patrick. In Dudley, I have at every single surgery a queue of people desperate for housing. I have women and children sofa surfing or being put up in bed and breakfast because they are homeless, because they cannot find a home for themselves. If we are going to import labour, we need to find them more housing and their families when they join them too. Why not? upskill our own labour, upskill the people who are at the moment on benefits, who already live in this country, and use them rather than look at this cheap way out.